in the Steel City at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And with towels waving, we're underway from Heinz Field. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now Roethlisberger. Short little throw to Ebron. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. They'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're gonna throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. That's good for 28 yards. Inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throwing on second and eight, Roethlisberger. And hitting Juju on the slam. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Third and two, now Roethlisberger. And this will be caught by his big tight end, Ebron, for a Steeler touchdown. Eric Ebron there to make the grab. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Here we go, Steelers! Well, now to 
to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields this way up at the 17. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. First carry from Giovanni Bernard. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Try and run for it with Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Now Jones. the 35 he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30 another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays from the 32 now here's first and 10 now Bernard Bernard churning and he lost the football and it looks like Steeler football it is obviously you gotta hold on to the football but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Following the fumble recovery, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. A gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Roethlisberger. Incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. And now it's third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now Roethlisberger. And that will be in. 
incomplete. I can put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. On first down, Harris. And he'll go down at the 28. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. On second down and four, Roethlisberger throwing the out route incomplete. That's Harris. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Roethlisberger. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Harris. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. They'll try and run with Harris. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to, have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and goal from the six this time. Off the play fake, here's Roethlisberger. They'll roll him out right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll try the right side with Harris. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. Boswell's kick is good. So the long guard gets him down inside of the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I 
would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Here's Brady to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this is caught. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, 53 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point now by Boswell. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Here we go, Kick it away after the touchdown. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, trying to get things settled down a little bit. And this is incomplete. Oh, uh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Throwing on first down is Brady. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Things just cut.